sat down with Tennis Chambers. I now call on uh, Timothy Clifford. Now, you are a waiter employed at the International Hotel in Kaladi. I am. And you were on duty on the night of 10th of October last. I was. Please speak up. I was. Very good. And what is your recollection of events that took place on that evening in the dining room? The man and the priest at his table were speaking. Uh, 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 Please. Uh, they, were, were, they were speaking about something about the railway strike in England. The man. That man we now know to be Lieutenant Chambers. Oh, that's right. Yes. And did you fetch paper for him from the hotel office? Did you? I, I can't remember, sir. You can't remember? You can't remember? I can't remember. Or you won't remember? I can't remember, sir. You seem to be an extremely reluctant witness before this inquiry. And I must add, you are here to testify truthfully to this court. Well, I can't remember, sir. Further questioning of this witness is pointless. Thank you. Your witness, Mr. Lynch. Thank you, Madam President. <clears throat> Perhaps writing paper was given to the lieutenant by someone other than yourself. Oh, it's possible, I suppose, but I doubt it. Did you see the lieutenant writing anything while seated at his table? Mm, not sure. Did you serve alcohol to the priest? No. Would you describe <coughs> Father O'Donnell as being three-fourths drunk? No, no. Was Father O'Donnell in his, uh, in his cups? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were many cups uh, lying around on the table. Oh, the ones our guests were drinking their tea from. Hmm. I have no further question. <laughs> 